So hi guys, welcome to CIA Algo. So CIA Algo is an indicator that uh, you can subscribe to and uh, make use of the same on TradingView platform. So on a blank chart, this is how you get onto TradingView. If you are subscribed to CIA Algo, you go to indicators and then go to invite only. So this is the indicator applied to the chart. So once you add the indicator to the charts, there might be some users who might see the price like this. So you come to the right axis, the price axis and you right click here. Just make sure that auto fit data to screen is selected and scale price to chart only. Then uh, you will not see minimized charts. Let's talk about the construct of the system. So this is the screener and this is the indicator. Whenever the market opens, the indicator is going to plot two lines. One is this red line and one is this green line. These denote bullish breakout zone and bearish breakout zone. When price breaches the red zone, we have a shorting approach. And when the price breaches the green uh, line, which is the bullish breakout level, we have a bullish approach. We go long in that instrument. So this is Bank Nifty's chart of uh, 17th July 25. This is how the price opened. On a 15 minute chart, if we have a closing below red, that is where we keep a bearish approach. Price is at 57,178. Now regarding the features of the system, on the top you can see trend score, then there is RSI, positive DI, negative DI and trend. So right now the system says that the trend is in a no trade zone, you should avoid taking trades right now. And trend score, you have to remember, for taking a long, we need a trend score of at least 2.2. And for taking a short, we need a trend score of at least 1.8 and below. All these things have been explained in the PDF guide as well. When you make the payment, you receive a welcome email from our end and you get the PDF guide. Let's come to the indicator settings. Just in front of SIA, you see this uh, settings button, just click on it. The first option is plot reversal triggers what it's going to do is it is going to give you reversal triggers so today when the market started we started with a bearish reversal trigger only so the system is telling you that the probability of a short rewarding you is more whenever you see this whatever your risk reward allows you just create a short trade like this it should at least be 1 is to 2, 1 is to 3 for intraday. Now the time right now is 1.43. There is still time in the live markets. Maybe uh, this target gets achieved. Maybe it doesn't. But once you are away from your uh, you know, entry zone and if you are an option trader, you should keep uh, an approach of keeping stop losses at cost. Now to take this trade in options, what could have been done here is, 57184 is the level where this candle is giving you a close. I would always suggest please wait for at least the first 15 man, uh, minute candle to close which happens around 9.30 then start taking your bets. Do not take trades once the market opens. So let's just look at 57200 put and 57200 because at that time the price was 57,184. So the nearest ATM strike price is 57,200. On an options chart, you keep a three minute uh, time frame open and just make sure that the option that you're trading is also above the bullish breakout zone. So the price uh, after 9.30, this next candle is around uh, 5.79, 5.80. And from there, we have a high of 6.62 or 82 points as reward in the option that we would have traded. So uh, this is going to work on options as well, but I wouldn't suggest taking trades based on the alerts you're getting here. Take trades based on the alerts you're getting in the underlying instrument, which is Bank Nifty for our case. Now there is a zone between this red and green lines. This is the scalping zone. Now scalping is an advanced form of trading. 
if your execution is not fast if you're not familiar with demand and supply based trading you should avoid scalping otherwise uh, you can make use of these pivots to take scalps from one support zone to the next resistance and if you see a breakout take a new trade uh, when the trend is initiating strong or super strong that is the time you take your trades when it's weak or in a no trade zone you should avoid that instrument for that uh, particular time period in the screener if you double click on the screener uh, there is a preset list of stocks you can even change these stocks let's say instead of uh, tcs i want to look at indigo so now the screener is going to show you values for indigo and the other things that were there in the list see indigo has been changed 5840 is the price and these are the parameters now these uh, stocks which have a blue tick under adx these are trending stocks in which you can uh, you know take trades in intraday now whatever their charts are suggesting of course every uh, you'll have to vet every chart uh, to its merit some stocks might be bullish some stocks might be bearish but this is just to tell you that these are uh, trending stocks and uh, you can look at them for your intraday trading like hal was a trending stock in that if i see the chart there is a good trending uh, short move happening in it on the charts you will see some triggers from uh, the system lbp now lbp means long book profit so for the long that is generated here the bullish reversal the system thinks that this trade either has uh, run its course or there is something against the trend we are in so the system is telling you uh, you know you should uh, book profits in your longs now you can either book profits here or start trailing the stop loss whatever your uh, risk management allows you the opposite of lbp is sbp short book profit now the short that is created here the system is wetting the candle and if it finds anything wrong uh, with this candle it is going to ask you to book profits in the shorts now here as well it's up to you how you manage your risk either you can book in full or start trailing the stop loss but always remember do not take these triggers to take contra bets as they are going to be very risky and against the trend so the opposite of lbp will be sbp short book profit like this is indigo's intraday chart the system suggested a short at open itself and uh, in this candle the system thought either uh, the parameters of the short have been fulfilled or there is something wrong with this present candle while uh, the system is waiting this candle so it is asking you to book profit in the short trade now actionable here is either you book uh, in full or you start trailing the stop loss whatever your risk management allows you you will sometimes see the system plotting these uh, attention arrows this uh, red symbol this is when an instrument is extremely overbought this might happen on the bottom as well when an instrument is extremely oversold so this is just an indication of you know just to be on your toes uh, to book your profit or start uh, trailing the stop loss because if you see uh, this long move came to a halt you have lbp as well so these are good locations where you should you know either consider uh, booking uh, part profits or start trailing the stop loss similar thing happened here as well and uh, there is some correction in price so we have discussed two scenarios till now one when the price was below the red line that was in bank nifty and we expected a short move in the security now another scenario is when the price is between these red and green lines that is where you scalp so just in case if you scalped here your target to exit the long should be here all right you can do your risk management you can set your uh, stop loss accordingly but there will also be a scenario wherein you get a closing above the green this is where we can expect a breakout on the long side so whatever your trading style is uh, please set your exposure accordingly so this is the uh, mgl chart for 17 july there was a bullish reversal trigger on the previous day the stock gapped up now this is not a trigger for you to take overnight positions i'm just telling you the last uh, signal was a bullish reversal and when price was here system had uh, set a few parameters for it and 
you see LBP here. So this is where the system thinks that uh, you know this uh, the targets of this trade are fulfilled and you can either book in full or start trailing the stop loss. And of course like this stock there will be instances where even be beyond LBP price will keep going higher and higher but it depends on your risk management how you manage your trades. Some people are uh, trading in cash, some in futures, some in options, some buy options, some sell options. So whatever your trading style and your risk management is like you know you can uh, adjust accordingly. Now coming to a very important function of the system which is the alerts. On trading view you click on alerts. In condition select CR. Now the first function any alert function this means if you keep this uh, alert selected whenever the price breaches the red or the green line the system is going to send you an alert all right for a long trigger for a short trigger for a bullish reversal for a bearish reversal for a lbp for a sbp you can set alerts whatever the case is if there are symbols in which you trade regularly you can keep uh, always open open ended alerts and in messages you can write your own custom messages notifications you can either be notified on your app on email or you can even connect a webhook url with the alert so the last thing that i wanted to discuss in this video is this uh, yellow line this is uh, our proprietary moving average the way you treat any other moving average or vwap it has to be uh, treated like that whenever there is a bullish uh, crossover you take longs and whenever there is a bearish crossover you take shorts now this is going to be useful for people who take uh, swing trades you switch to hourly or daily charts and uh, whenever the price is above this uh, line and with a good rsi that's where you know you should think about taking longs and vice versa for shorts at this juncture before i end this video i would like to remind you that there is no holy grail or perfect system in the markets Every indicator and system that you see and use are lagging. Your risk management is the only holy grail available with you in live markets. So always keep a stop loss in the system and work for good risk reward ratios. If you want to subscribe to CIA Algo, you have to go to CIAalgo.ai, fill in your details, make the payment. Uh, if the payment is made during working hours, my team will give you access within 2-3 hours. And on successful payment, you get a welcome email from our end, which has the systems PDF guide as well. So that's it for today. Please always respect risk. Thank you.